हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गुड शो टिप्स हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गुड शो टिप्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गिन टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू फिक्स मल्टीवर्स ऑन योर गेम व्हेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू प्ले इज हाउ कैन फिक्स दिस ऐप सो लेट्स डाइव इनटू दिस सो वी हैव टू ट्राई आउट सम ऑफ द वर्कराउंड्स एंड द फर्स्ट वन अमंग देम इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू जस्ट हैव टू रीस्टार्ट योर सिस्टम sometimes as i said earlier by doing a simple restart sometimes you can fix a lot of issue so here if you wanted to restart your pc you just have to go over here and you can do a restart from here and you can see whether you are able to fix the issue or not this is not a promise but sometimes for some users this has worked next is all about you have to check whether you are going through any kind of server issues or not so uh, if you wanted to check it you just have to go to the official Twitter account multiverses, and as you can see, you just have to scroll down a little bit. Down, you have to keep on scrolling down, and you will be getting all kind of updates and details from here. And if you are going through any kind of server issues, they'll be definitely letting letting you know that we are having this kind of issue, and you just have to check whether you are having uh, any kind of issue because it's all connection loss errors are all the time. It depends on the servers, so which is not in our end. We can do some basic steps and basic try. but most of the 80 percentage is depends on the uh, game hosters because uh, server issues should be fixed from them so that is what you have to do moving to the third step which i would like to make you notice is you have to check your internet connection as you can see i'm connected to the wifi so here i just have to make sure that uh, my wifi is good enough and it is all good if it is not good i'll be having the trouble so i just have to make sure that the wifi is all good and it is connected and it is all good and in the sense you know i'm able to load the pages and all those things or else i'll be having the trouble so this is what we have to do moving to the fourth step is all about we have to flash dns so if you don't know or if you don't have any idea about flash dns it is actually a basic process which you have to try out so i'll be trying to do this step so if you wanted to let me know how to do this step you just have to follow the instruction you just have to go over here and you have to search for cmd okay you just have to search for cmd and there will be an option called run as administrator which you just have to open this one and now you'll be getting you have to give few commands okay all these commands are very important and the basic one is ip config slash flush dns and you just have to press enter next is ip config slash register dns you have to press enter now you just have to wait and we have parallelly few more connections you have to keep on going so i'll be giving these in the description so you don't have to worry next is ip config slash release press enter next is ip config slash renew press enter next is ip config okay last and least so it is not ip config it is uh, n e t s h win sock reset and you just have to press enter so these are the things which you have to done as you can see it is mentioned here you have to do the restart so you just have to close this do a restart and you have to see and most probably the issue will become readily fixed because this particular method has helped many users as they have gone through i have done a little bit of research and it is helped for them in the reddit itself so next is all about you have to use dns server you have to use try using dns server different servers you have to use so for that you just have to go over here and you have to search for ncpa.cpl okay now just click on this one so you'll be getting like this so here you have to select which one is connected so here it is my internet connection so i have to right click navigate to properties from here what i have to do is i just have to scroll down and double click on internet protocol version i have to double click so here as you can see this is what it is done and if you go down here use the following dns server address as you can see So right now, as you can see, the preferred DNS server, as well as alternate DNS server. Here I have already given the server eight 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 four four. This is what you have to give. Even if in your case this is completely blank, you have to give the same. This is what you have to do. So these are the basics which you have to try out. And once it is done, just go for OK. 
go for ok and you just have to close this and just have to go to the steam and you have to try to launch the game and most probably it has to be worked even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to try trying out a different network that means you have to connect different wi-fi so here as you can see here i have connected to a wi-fi which is here of the office so here i have to disconnect it okay i have to disconnect it and i have to connect it back when i connect it back i have to see whether i am able to fix the issue or not because sometimes this might work and this has helped some of the users so that's why i am saying you we can definitely go for this one even after trying this you are still not able to fix the issue we don't have to worry we have few more solutions and one among them is you have to do a clean clear cache so clean clear caches you just have to follow here what you have to do is just have to go over here sorry you just have to press windows and r key all together so you'll be getting run command over here as you can see you'll be getting a run command here you have to type percentage temp percentage here i have already written so you have to just just go for ok when you go for ok you'll be getting some of the temporary files these are the temporary files as you can see so what you have to do is just have to mark all this or i have to select all these just go for delete okay you just have to go for uh, delete and uh, this is very important because once it's completely deleted you just have to close all these things and try to play the game and because that's going to help you guys out even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to do some basic steps like you have to update your windows as well as update your graphics card so if you wanted to update your graphics card you just have to go over here you just have to right click and you just have to go over here to the device manager from here you just have to go over here to the display adapters and as you can see nvidia geoforce you just have to right click and go for update driver so it's automatically and make sure this is up to date and even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to go to the next one which is called update windows so here you just have to go to over here and you have to navigate to settings okay you just have to navigate to settings from here in the settings just go for windows update and from here you just have to go for retry so if the windows are up to date this is very quite important a good step so if it's not up to date you don't have to panic you just have to wait and update it and you just have to try go go to the steam and try to play the game even after trying this if it's not still working i have one more solution which is all about which is quite common that's called verify integrity of game file for that you just have to go to the steam and here as you can see here these are the games which i am having right now but for me uh the multiverse actually is not available in my country so that's why i haven't installed it i am still waiting for it very eagerly so here you just have to go to the game i mean uh, from here when you downloaded the multiverse it will be here right so don't get confused i'll be showing you with an example for those who don't know so you just have to right click on the game for example if uh, this is the game imagine this is the game and you can do the same process to any game so right click and you just have to go to the properties and you'll be having a local files over here then click on verify integrity of game file just go for it so that what happens is this will take in so what happens is if any files are corrupted this will be fixed and that will be helping guys sometimes because of some corrupted files this issue can happen in between and these are the basic stuff which you have to try out when you're having the multiverse is having the issue and also uh, as you can check our website which i'll be giving in the description where as you can see we have updated many more articles on multiverses and you can check for it also so this is what it's all about it and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out